All right, guys, this is Jernigam here. We're going to be talking about Matt Hancock, the Secretary of the UK, protecting the NHS, staying safe and saving lives, coronavirus, rabbiting set out five condi conditions needed to lift the UK. As I talked about, the, lock the lockdown is going to be another three weeks, and they keep saying they're going to lift it, and then they're going to see what the peak is. And then they say all sorts of annoying things that annoy everybody else, and they think... They're good at talking this, but they're not good at doing actions. I mean, they probably don't know how to do the actions. Hold on. <coughs> oh. So two seconds, just sneezed. So about that, guys? I just had the sneeze then. But anyway, I've got some I know it's pollen. Never knows. Or dust. Anyway, um, what I was saying is they don't know really what's going to happen. Nobody does. We've lost at least 13,000 people. It's going to be over 12,000. It's got to be, and it may go even worse. But uh, we're going to play the video and see what you guys think about it. I'm just going to press play now. Hope you all enjoy the video, and uh, tell me what you think about it. Asia is going through a period of unparalleled change. We are looking After it's done in here. Within this growth region. So let me set out five specific things which the government will need to be satisfied of before we will consider it safe to adjust any of the current, current measures. First, we must protect the NHS's ability to cope. We must be confident that we're able to provide sufficient critical care and specialist treatment right across the UK. The NH staff have been incredible. We must continue to support them as much as we can. Second, we need to see a sustained and consistent fall in the daily death rates from coronavirus. So we're confident that we've moved beyond the peak. They keep saying beyond the peak, fallen so coronavirus. We're going to go a long time through this and the people don't realise. The rate of infection is decreasing to manageable levels across the board. Fourth, we need to be confident that the range of operational challenges, including testing capacity and PPE, are in hand with supply able to meet future demand. Fifth, and this is really crucial, we must be confident that any adjustments to the current measures will not risk a second peak of infections that overwhelm the NHS. The worst thing that we could do right now is to ease up too soon allow a second peak of the virus to hit the NHS and hit the British people. It will be the worst outcome, not just for public health, but for the economy and for our country as a whole. He doesn't seem to know what he's talking about. This coronavirus is not going to stop until we get a vaccine. It's just going to keep happening. More people are going to die, unfortunately. It's very sad news. I know for a lot of people, and they probably don't want to hear this, but they have to. I'm going to tell you. We're not going to reach the peak until they, we get a, a vaccine. Um, people can think and disagree with me. That's their opinion. But uh, they keep saying the peak, this, that and the other. And some people say, what do you mean by the peak? If it goes up, if it goes down. It's going to keep going up, I'm afraid. Now, I wish they'd stop living in the past and come to the future, these people. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. What I mean by that is uh, they're thinking too ahead. They're not really listening and focusing. What can they do? They're trying to keep us from stop worrying, but we're going to always worry with human beings. Nobody wants to lose a loved one. I can understand that. And uh, he keeps thinking in a fantasy world, this guy on the TV. But uh, Matt Hancock's the Secretary of London. Um, who knows? Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, Jeremy. Peace.